In this video I'm going to talk about the title element in the page builder. Now in case you don't know what this element actually does, um, it will basically and foremost uh, add a title in various uh, instances, in various uh, layouts, in various styles and so on. We have a preview here in the system elements uh, page into the elements and as you can see we have a short presentation here uh, which says it's only its only purpose is to yeah here has this has to disappear here its only purpose is to help you add a customizable uh, title to either a page element or whatever you want in various colors and, and or states so basically here as you can see these are just three examples of um, what the element does as you can see uh, this example has a has an h2 level uh, type of title uh, semi bold font weight uh, subtitle and a paragraph as a symbol it has a red dash right after the right under the title then we have an H3 here which looks the same because it's uh, customized and the subtitle and the paragraph here for example the colors are different as you can see they are all darker uh, here we have an icon a custom font icon and as uh, here it's written it's an H4 type of um, tag right here now I won't talk no more about uh, these I'm just going to start um, adding a new oh sorry I'm just going to start um, working on this uh, adding a new element and start playing with it so I'm just going to search for title or let me just I will just make I'm going to remove this I just wanted the column I could have just searched for a column in case you're wondering but I'm a bit lazy so I just cloned it so let me just add the title as you can see I've placed it in, into a, a six column sized uh, block I'm going to edit its settings and we have first the title I'm going to say here's an awesome title yeah the subtitle 2 and uh, just to let you know uh, these two fields right here support short codes so I meant actually uh, HTML tags but why not even uh, shortcuts we can set an alignment for the moment I'm going to put it on the left and we can have um, uh, I don't know uh, team color um, it's you could consider this useless you can consider this uh, useful the thing is that you can change into the font settings you can change the font colors so like I said it might be useful if you want if you just want to rely on the uh, on the colors of the parent element inherited uh, by the HTML structure of the code it's up to you if you want like I said by default it's uh, just a default uh, inherited uh, colors but if you say you want to force the colors just choose either light or dark then moving forward let me just save this so we can um, uh, work on the we can use these uh, two options right here you can see you can change the padding the top padding the bottom padding and that's about it with the general options now uh, we also have a cool feature called symbol 
and the first option is whether you want to add a symbol or not so first by default of course is none but you can first add a small line some uh, I don't know some uh, some options will uh, pop here like uh, the symbol position you can choose after the title or better yet I'll start with the first before the title right here I'm just going to start with this one uh, I will uh, this is the symbol color but for the moment um, I want you to see the, its default color if I choose custom uh, color picker will appear so for the moment just default color and then we have a description text I don't know you could just use the text box uh, element but if you want to have a just uh, say uh, one element for all all in one element just add here some uh, some text so I'm just going to use my uh, simple extension for this I'm going to copy this text and I'm going to go to the font settings now for the moment let me just say this one as you can see this is the symbol um, this is the description text and now let's get into the font settings so I can switch back to the symbol options which are a bit more options there and uh, they're uh, needed to be explained so you can choose for of course for um, mostly SEO purposes because um, we already have uh, font sizes line height all types of uh, typography uh, settings so I'm just going to I don't know change this to an H2 and sorry I can change the title settings for example the font family if you want to add uh, custom fonts just go to custom and Google fonts just go to uh, your WordPress backend and to Kalias options and you have these two right here first go to fonts setup so you can load the uh, your fonts and and that's it for this purpose exactly uh, for this purpose you only got to load here the fonts as you can see here it's Montserrat and Open Sans Open Sans and Montserrat and all these are system fonts so let me change this to Montserrat so you can see the difference we have the font size option let's say 34 pixels the line height I'm just going to say 42 uh, the font weight I'm going to say of course bold and the font style whether you want it italic or normal I'm just going to leave it uh, normal so I'm going to change the color to red for example and we have the subtitle settings let me just um, let me just increase this by four pixels I'm going to set it make it a full black um, I'm going to make it thinner and that's about it let me just save it yeah so you can see here's, it's a I already customized it a lot so um, like I said it's a very very powerful uh, element then we also plan to make these options live but for the moment that's a bit tricky so we'll just uh, have to uh, work with saving and uh, that's that's it the good side of the page builder is that you're working uh, onto the front end now going back to the symbol options like I said you can uh, you have uh, selected a small line which is a dash right here you can change the symbol position to before the title after the title right here you can uh, you 
can uh, change the color to whatever color you you want let me just leave it this red as you can see here and then we have the um, the other styles so for example we have a long bottom border it's a very simple border right here you can change its color of course you can like I said change the uh, the position say after the subtitle then we have the um, a long thicker bottom border with thicker border for title um, yeah it, I know it's a strange name but I'm going to just save it right here it's um, going to place it after the title and select this one as you can see there's a border in the background let me just shorten this uh, this uh, here's, a, here's a title as you can see we have a border right here and a thicker border a thicker red border right here now you can uh, also change its color to the default back and maybe it looks better I don't know it's a matter of taste and if you noticed I have um, I had to uh, place the symbol onto uh, the after the title otherwise it won't work and moving on a small line and a bo bottom border so if I save this as you can see we have a, a line here and a border and we can also change the color and again we can change the position now one of the nicest uh, feature of it is the icon you can choose an icon to add into the um, into this uh, element so I'm going to I don't know choose an icon right here I'm going to say going to choose um, this one so I'm just going to save it as you can see it's added here if I were to just center the um, the icon as you can see it would look better I could just uh, I can also again choose a custom color for it and I'm going to scroll at the bottom and you can as you can see you can specify uh, an icon size and you can of course uh, move it around here and it will reposition itself now one of the coolest features is also the fact that you can specify the position of the the uh, the icon sorry could be in the title's left side this is only available for the icons so for example I'm going to save this one it won't look better because I think this one has to be aligned on the left we're hoping we we could uh, will uh, I don't know update this uh, element uh, more and more to have as many live uh, as many live uh, options as possible. So and uh, just like this one, for example. Well, there is it. You can make it on black and this is the title element like I said it's an awesome element I personally love it it's uh, very customizable you can do a lot of things with it you can add uh, 
some something that I uh, I loved doing for example I'm just going to choose eight columns for this I'm going to edit the columns settings to uh, I think to offset yeah and I'm going to I'm going to choose a small line plus border bottom and I'm going to say after the title and let me reposition this to the center yeah so as you can see I've added a nice um, title for a page or um, yeah, let me if you as you can see it's resized and uh, is not fully stretched onto the entire container it uh, has a uh, it's nice what can I say it's a nice uh, it's a nice element with a, a huge amount of uh, customization possibilities so um, this is the title element if you have any further questions just uh, shoot and um, if you have troubles with the element simply subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one